Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and today we're going old school, specifically old school rally. There have been a little bit of a drought of racing games that have been released yet and we're just long waiting for all sorts of titles to be released, quote unquote, just later this year. But in this drought, I've noticed that we've had quite a few indie games that are coming up very quickly, and it was this old school rally that was recently announced as early access as July 13th. So yes, I know I'm a little bit behind by a month or thereabouts, but as you can tell, I am completely enamored by this game because there are a few games of these indies that are coming out that instead of trying to go for the highest fidelity, the highest graphics, they're going back in time and looking at specifically like PlayStation 1 era graphics. Which a lot of us are sitting there going like, that is an era that has some of the worst graphics in gaming. So why are we looking back to then? And the answer is specifically nostalgia. like. Heavy nostalgia because there are games that I played on the PlayStation 1, i.e., Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3, which looks actually objectively worse than this somehow, and yet I still go back to play that game, and it's just a masterpiece. So I think when you look at it, you can really just look past the graphics and look at the game itself and understand the charm. But I think the developer in this situation said, no, 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 the graphics are part of the charm. And the best part about it is he doesn't like render it like normal. You can actually tell that there is some pretty significant pop in where you would expect it from PlayStation 1 era graphics, especially like the pop out when it gets close to like the edge of the screen. It's, I think they did an absolutely spectacular job with getting just this era of graphics perfect. So not only did they absolutely just perfect the graphics, I'm talking to you while just listening to awesome engine noises, not really paying much attention to the, um, the co-driver, but there's some modernizations that has been included, so, you know, i.e. the track notes that come up right at the top. That's kind of like what I'm partially focusing on right now. But you can play, obviously, on controller, and I feel like the handling model is actually really good for controller. And listening to the soundtrack and just everything about this, oh god. That was the other thing that I was going to make mention, too. Come on. There we go. All right, I just got to hold break. There we are. And that was the other thing I was going to make mention at some point as well, is that there is mechanical damage. So if you have, if you run into the wall a number of times, you're going to lose out on your top speed if you're noticing already. Normally, I was able to get really easily up to about 8,000 reps. And now it's just really struggling to get there. So yeah, this is not... I don't think I'm going to be passing this event at this point. Because I had spent way too much time trying to get my car out of that tree there. One of the other fun things that I've noticed about this game too is... I am... With some of these indie games that are coming out that are rally based, they are using the iconic rally cars of the 80s and the 90s and the 70s. And I'm worried if there are any ceased and desists that are going to come around because these are exactly the cars. So we've got the Subaru, but this is the Ford Taurus. They've got the Jupiter Ram, which is the Mitsubishi Evo. We've got the Leon D26. I'm trying to remember which this one is offhand. I'm, I'm blanking. The Virgo XF. Again, I think this is the Lancia. But then we get into, you know, these guys. The, yeah, the Audi, the Audi Quattro. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Mini Cooper, the Tiny S. Yes. The Alpine, Lancia, 
I mean, yeah, this this car list is stacked as it should be for a rally game. So we'll swap over to the Mitsubishi. Three, two, one, go. Here we are. And the other fun thing too is that this is an all original soundtrack, which is absolutely awesome. And the best part about all of this so, because it is essentially running PlayStation 1 graphics, like, this game is really, really freaking bare bones. Which, I'm glad that the developer did this. They went above and beyond and worked with Valve and were able to get this game verified for Steam Deck. Which, in my mind, like, you would open the game and it would run perfectly because it's just that well optimized. But, you know, game development these days is not easy. And we've seen in the number of games that have been, quote-unquote, optimized well, but just don't work all that well with, like, the Steam Deck. So, no, this is, this is really, really nice, being able to have all of this all together instead of having to break out the PlayStation 1 and then realize how bad the controls are. And I, I was going to say the main key bindings or the main controller bindings are a little bit weird for me but immediately I was able to just jump in and just switch it up to the way that I like it and it took me 30 seconds I was able to adjust the audio I was able to adjust the resolution of the screen size I mean so all of this stuff is there and that was one of the biggest gripes that I've had in previously reviewed indie games it's like the the heart, the soul, the charm is there. But can you at least give us like a windowed mode or like a resolution scaler? I mean, just this is really basic stuff I'm asking for for 2024. I mean, really? So this is this is awesome. One of the last final cool things about this is this screams PlayStation 1 era. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> So, of course, the rally mode, like the main career, time trial, and then these are the settings I was talking about. And then, just in graphics, just in language, that kind of fun stuff. Credits, collection, we can look at the four cars that we have here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even... Oh! Oh, they did a great job with this. This is like having a little model car. Oh, that's so cool. Let's customize. Okay, we can customize the shelf color. Oh. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. And then achievements, and then we're back to rally. So... Of course, this has been Old School Rally. You can get it currently on Steam. It is in Early Access. For get this, $10. For that, you get a full-fledged PlayStation 1 era game that has got great handling, great graphics, awesome like modern-day um, controls and settings, and you guys are going to miss out if you don't get this game. So please pick up old school rally today i'm having a lot of fun with this especially on steam deck so if you've got steam deck this is a must have in my mind so if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe tell me what you guys are enjoying about this game what you guys um if you've picked it up if there are anything that you're struggling with or reminisce with me about your favorite PlayStation 1 games. There have been so many awesome PlayStation 1 era racing games that I am glad that we're getting to the point that we're bringing some of those back because that was a really good generation for racing games, like a superb generation. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Take care. Bye.